just going to try this blade out. I haven't used one before, but it's supposed to last a lot longer than the abrasive discs. All right, that's a little bit different than the uh, one-headed method with the abrasive ones. That grabs a lot more, and it kicks off a lot of stuff. So I'm not sure I like them. Uh, I think I like I like that one guy's trick where he uses it, and I've, I've used it when I'm cutting this the last time, and it works real well. You just one-hand it, and um, with those discs, and you just kind of go like this, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and it works great. Um, this one here at the end, you saw that I got it kind of figured out, but. You just kind of hold it just a little bit above and let it kind of drag itself across. So um, I got to cut another square out of this later. Uh, basically just cut the rest of this off. So I'll try it again and see if I like it or not. But um, I'll let you know next Saturday. But uh, right now I'm not sure. I'm just going to finish grinding that and then I'm going to take it inside and weld it all down. Basically what we got here, a little plate with a holder, and I just need to drill the hole for the jack right here. But I'm going to get this welded up. This is our second use of this little adapter that I made. Uh, basically it just bolts onto the plate hole, um, drill a hole in there and you just use the bolt hole to bolt it down to the jack. And then uh, for the 4L60E it fits right into, um, into the rack like I made uh, as you saw in the video. Uh, this is the AOD 1988 Bronco. And um, it's got like a little nub, uh, recessed portion on the pan down there that you can see. And so we had to just put a couple of 2 before 4s on there to kind of raise it up some. But it still balances and holds and raises it up and down pretty easy. So, like always, just uh, use your mind and imagination and you can usually rig up something to work for whatever you're trying to do. As always, we thank you for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.